Valentino giving me suits. Get the DA's office says Knight took part in the beating of Anderson last September. Tupac Shakur and Shug Knight were kicking uh, the Orlando, who was on the ground at that time. Deputy DA Bill Hodgman backed up the video evidence with testimony from the hotel security manager, Annette Muchuka, who said she tried to stop the fight. The judge is not allowing Muchuka to appear on camera. Tell us what you saw. He was kicking him. More than once? Yes. More than twice? Yes. More than three times? Yes. But when the beating victim, Orlando Anderson, took the stand, he testified Knight tried to stop the beating. Again, we cannot show you Anderson on the stand. I seen him uh, standing right there helping. He was about the only one. He was helping you, is that correct? Yes. Las Vegas Metro Homicide uh, Detective Brent Becker the later took the stand and testified Anderson had a much different story when he interviewed him in October. He made the comment that Tupac and Knight beat him up pretty good. And he specifically said... He used and the, the first name Tupac and the last name Knight. Anderson was arrested last month in a sweep of Compton gangsters. Las Vegas homicide cops are still investigating possible links between Anderson's beating and the shooting death of rapper Tupac Shakur on the Vegas Strip later that night. Knight is facing nine years in prison if his probation is revoked. The hearing continues on Friday. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, I was fucked up. Okay. Yeah, he came, they came back in there, Biggie did, Biggie did. And the LAPD, I feel they made a mistake because uh, they was directing traffic out instead of taping the whole thing off. I done been in scenes where they make everybody stay till they interview everybody. Around the time of uh, uh, Suge Knight's uh, trial, so Suge had uh, been arrested uh, in Los, uh, Los Angeles and I started getting phone calls from Reggie Wright to uh, appear uh, as a witness for Shug. So I don't really know. So I don't know how damaging or how helpful you could be. And so we try to find out if you could be helpful or if you're damaged. You know what I mean? I gave a statement to Metro. Listen to what I'm saying. I gave a statement to Metro based on what you and Shug asked me to do the night I went to the meeting at Shug's house. Okay? About the chain getting snatched. Now, I've already said that, that now to go in there and then say something different than that, that's going to jeopardize a lot. You know, that, that's perjury there. Okay, this stuff is already uh, on record. Uh, I don't know what the FBI is talking about. Uh, have they talked to Metro about this? Metro didn't talk to the FBI about it. They're watching the whole thing. But for me to go get on a witness stand and then just be uh, put out like that, well, that's what I'm saying. You said you already gave a statement. Yeah, I gave the statement to Metro already, Reggie. So why can't you give that statement? You don't want to. I'll put David to it. That's all I'm asking you to do is tell them what you told them. D, I feel they made a mistake because uh, they was directing traffic out instead of taping the whole thing off. I done been in scenes where they make everybody stay till they interview everybody. But there was one in the middle of the, of the road. He was directing traffic, making everybody lead it from the Peter Pitcher Museum. So then that, that Tuesday, Reynolds pulled over my nephew, talking about, uh, y'all kill Biggie. And I started getting phone calls from David Kenner. I started getting phone calls from Milton Grimes. Uh, I started getting phone calls from all of these different people um, that was law, uh, you know, law enforcement or <clears throat> uh, attorneys wanting me as a, a witness to what had happened at the MGM that uh, uh, evening that uh, Orlando Anderson had got into that fight. Which report is it out of the three that they're looking at you, that you have? Because he told me, he said... Um, the one that I think that, that came up is actually, I think, a Compton Police Department report. Mr. Kenner, I have never spoken to Compton Police Department. Never. I've never been inside of a Compton Police Department. Oh, he was directing traffic, making everybody lead it from the Peter Pitcher Museum. So that, that Tuesday, Reynolds pulled over my nephew, talking about, uh, y'all kill Biggie. So we left about, about 40 minutes later. We left about 40 minutes later. We came back Sunday. That Monday, we was all sitting on, uh, in our neighborhood. 
Reggie Sr., the captain of the Compton Police, comes up, run the stop sign. I guess he had just finished debriefing his uh, his soldiers at the Compton PD. He run our stop sign on my street, came up, jumped out of his car and like, hey, motherfucker, let me tell you something, keep it here. You kill my son, motherfucker, it's on. All right. And from that uh, incident, um, later, I started getting phone calls from Michael Moore and Michael Moore and then a really good friend of mine that I had grown up with that worked for uh, Reggie over at the office, uh, Larry. And they were, you know, more hands-on and uh, around the uh, people hearing things that obviously I wasn't hearing. And it was things like, uh, they want you dead, uh, you know, uh, be careful. They don't want you, no, want you around. stop sign. I guess he had just finished debriefing his uh his soldiers at the Compton PD. He run our stop sign on my street, came up, jumped out of his car and like, hey motherfucker, let me tell you something, keep it here. You kill my son, motherfucker, it's on. I'm like, what the fuck is you talking about? Fuck you. They were apparently hearing uh this information about Frank, if he shows up, or if Frank is not, uh, you know, talking um, on our side and uh, been on our side, that uh, we're going to have to take him out, you know. And these are words from Michael Moore. Michael Moore was telling me that, you know, that uh, he was hearing this around the office. And Michael Moore continued to work for uh, Death Row's office, and he was hearing these conversations, uh, be it with Reggie, be it with Suge, be it with whoever he was hearing it from. Mm -hmm. 
Reggie Sr., the captain of the Compton Police, jumped out of his car and like, hey, motherfucker, let me tell you something, KPD, you kill my son, motherfucker, it's on. I'm like, what the fuck is you talking about? Fuck you. You know, he's like, I'm just telling you, motherfucker, the belt's coming off. I'm like, this motherfucker's stupid. Then two hours later, he get our little trap spot raided. Take all our guns, all that shit. So I started getting the, the, the death threats indirectly from people that were friends of mine that were calling me, telling me. Then I got a phone call from Reggie Wright. And Reggie Wright wanted me to uh, not answer the phone when the district attorney was calling me to tell me to come down to testify at Shug's trial. Because the DA started calling me and their office started calling me, wanting me to testify against Shug. So I started talking to friends and people were like, I wouldn't go. Uh, I, I wouldn't uh, answer the phone. I, I, uh, I wouldn't make myself available. He goes, don't make yourself available because if you do, man, Frank, it's going to be bad for you. you know. And then I got a phone call from Reggie Wright and he said to me, what are you going to do? You and your white wife going to go into hiding? And I was like, wow, <laughs> what are you saying here? You know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find you. You know, I'm like, okay, you know, well, what are you going to find me and what are you going to do? What, what, what is this about? Was my question to him. And so it's basically uh, the city of Compton police is against the South Sides. So, but there was some dudes from the Compton police that I went to school with and played football with at Compton High. A Blue, Bookman, Eric Period, and they all came over there and said, we ain't with that bullshit, man, you know what I'm saying? We from the crib side, and we ain't with that bullshit. Y'all watch y'all ass just try to stay out of Compton. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we know that they was going to come with the Compton police. Yeah, he, my, I, I, I didn't believe it when I heard it. But, you know, everybody, I'm on social media with everybody. I comment everybody. And some people told me, yeah, he said this about your dad. So I go, Reggie, what the? He said, oh, yeah. He said, I went over there. He said, when I heard they were talking about doing those niggas, Better not nothing better not having the Reggie Jr. because you know he knew I was running with him. Because if y'all do, y'all gonna have some problems. Right, he told us at the streets. He told us, they told him to do it, you know? Yeah. His cops, his cops, hey, Frank, I'm so bad he died, you know? Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. And Michael Moore. Yeah. And then, um, Perez and was all involved. They were trying to kill me, too. But see, because Perez and, and, and Reggie was good friends, and Perez. And Sarita and Reg is great friends, and so all those three together was trying to plot. You know? yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Russell got it right before he died. Yeah. Yeah. My judge said he 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 um he watched it take ninety seven times and still couldn't say I did anything. Yeah. And he asked him, could he just give me less time, like one year, or back on probation? And the lawyers never said. Uh, yeah, they don't care. Said no, but that's not true. He could have. Yeah. And I got the, I got the paperwork to prove from two different DAs and all attorneys. I never had a firearm when I went on probation for it. Train after party, March 9th, 1997, around 12:30 a.m. A car pulled up alongside his green SUV, and the driver opened fire, killing the 24-year-old rapper. It's now 25 years later and still the case remains unsolved, or does it? The murder of Biggie, it's, it's not unsolved. It, it's solved, and the LAPD even states in their own internal affairs documents that are under seal who was involved and who helped orchestrate and commit that murder. It was basically uh, the city of Compton police is against the South Sides. I mean, everybody, and some people told me, yeah, he said this about your dad. So I go, Reggie, what the? Oh, yeah. He said, I went over there. He said, when I heard they were talking about doing this and doing that, I told them niggas, then that man been not having the Reggie Jr. Because, you know, he knew I was running with him. Because if y'all do, y'all gonna have some problems. Uh, Valentino giving me suits, gangster suits.